still in the oscillatory isometrics family, we have the yielding isometrics, also called the drop and catch method. I mean, those methods, you can read about them in my uh, book, Theory and Application of Modern Strength and Power Methods, that was written like 20 years ago. Uh, but they were really popularized by uh, a legendary coach called Jay Schroeder, uh, who trained uh, a football player named Artem Archuleta, who basically was a first round draft choice in the NFL, almost exclusively due to his combine's performance. And, and then his training leaked out and he was uh, just throwing weights in the air, catching weights, uh, dropping from six feet in high and landing in a push-up position, just teaching the body to absorb force because that's what the, these oscillatory yielding isometrics are. It's really teaching or training the body to absorb force. So what you're doing is you will drop a load. Again, I'm using the curl just because it's simpler to demonstrate, but it can be done on a bench press, can be done on a squat, can be done on pretty much anything. Uh, like front raises and stuff like that. So what you're doing is you're dropping a weight and you want to catch it. And when you catch it, you stick the landing, meaning that you don't want to have any absorption once you catch the load. You stop it dead in its track. You might want to hold it for maybe two or three seconds, flexing as hard as you can. Because the benefit of these yielding uh, oscillatory isometrics is that when you're catching the load, that is what will lead to the greatest excitatory drive to the muscle. And you can take advantage of that by once you're catching it and those motor units are turned on, just keep tensing as hard as you can just to train that muscle to fire as hard as you can, which will actually lead to strength gains that are dramatic. So what it can look like is, I'm gonna hold the curl here. What, what I will do is, I will let it drop down, and the goal is to move faster with my hands than the bar is going down. And I will catch it in that position, producing maximum tension. And upon catching it, I'm tensing as hard as I can. Can be done on, on that, on front raises, lateral raises with dumbbells, can be done with a bench press, can be done on squats. On squats, you would go on your toes and drop down with the bar on your shoulders. Obviously, the bar stays on your shoulders, but now your body and the bar becomes the falling weight. I'm here, and I'm catching it here. So it could look like this. Again, I didn't have my stretching before. Here, boom. And contract the, those muscles hard. Very good to teach the body to absorb force. And in sports, absorbing force is at least as important as producing force. And even if you're not an athlete, even if you're just interested in getting stronger, for example, well, that will teach your nervous system to create a super strong excitatory drive to those motor units, increasing your capacity to recruit those fast twitch fibers really, really fast. So that will actually help you get stronger. And if you are better at absorbing force, the eccentric phase of the lift is much easier, it's gonna be much easier, takes a lot less out of you, so you have more left for the concentric action. So that method obviously is an advanced form of isometrics, okay? You need to train the other types of isometrics before getting to them. But certainly learning to absorb force is something that should be a high priority in the training of any athlete, for example. I always give the analogy that I want an athlete to learn to land before learning to jump, okay? So that's learning to land for the upper body. On bench press, that's learning to land for the upper body. Same thing. You want to learn to absorb force before being able to lift maximum weights. So a very effective method to do that.